Hello, good morning, uh, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching us from. Okay, welcome to this presentation where we want to look at um, the, the Zimbabwe School Examinations Council, right? The GCE ordinary level of 2024, the June session. And in this presentation, I'm only going to present the last question, which is question E. Oh, please, you can watch out for the other videos uh, where we've explained uh, or tried to solve most of the questions in this paper. Please share and subscribe to our channel. That is Kamban Piri JM, the Taomba. Bond. All right. So let's look at the question. Uh, the last question says a straight line L passes through the point two comma negative three, and there's a gradient of three. Number one or A number numeral one. Find the equation of the line L in the form Y is equal to MX plus C. Now, when you have got this, Y is equal to MX plus C, this is a standard form of a straight line, equation of a straight line. This is our gradient. Then this is Y intercept. All right? So, if you substitute here, if you substitute here, you are going to have uh, y is equal to 3x plus what? C. All right? Because our gradient is C uh, is 3. But now, we can't have an equation like this, which is still more like a general form. We need to find what C is. We need to find what C is. All right? So, what do we do? We are going to use this point. But this is x and this is y. Okay. We are going to use that point, uh, the, uh, that point into this equation to get the, the missing value, which is c. So our y is negative 3. This is equal to 3. x is 2 plus what? c. This implies that negative 3 minus 6 because this is 6 when you multiply, will be equal to C, and therefore C is equal to negative 9. Hence, <clears throat> the equation now is Y is equal to 3X. Our C is e, negative 9. This is your solution. Y is equal to 3X C minus C, 9. All right. Okay. State the relationship between line L and the line whose equation is this. So we have line L. Allow me to call it one. Uh, the equation. The equation is given as y is equal to three x minus nine. Then we have got another line. I'll call it line two. The equation is equal to y is equal to 3x minus c1. Now, what is the relationship between these two? We're able to identify that, we're able to see that uh, the gradients here are the same, okay? And if the gradients are the same, what is it that we're able to conclude? We are, we are saying since the gradient is the same, <laughs> For the two equations, okay, it therefore shows that uh, y is equal to three x minus nine, and y is equal to three x minus one. Are 
parallel. These lines are parallel. Look what it means. So here you can say they are parallel. They are parallel lines. That is the relationship. Okay, great. Let's look at um, the next question. Given that a function f defined on x is equal to x plus k squared, all right? Uh, let's find f of two. So this will be two. Now, and that f of two is 29. So this will be two plus k squared is equal to 29. What is the question therefore? The question therefore is find the two possible values of k. Great. So well, this implies that we have four plus k squared uh, being equal to 29. Okay, so now, what are we going to have? We'll say k squared is equal to 29 minus 4. And k squared is equal to 29 minus 4 is 25. Therefore, we are supposed to find the square root of 25. So, if you introduce square roots both sides, therefore k is the square root of plus or minus 25. And hence, k is plus or minus 5. And that is our solution. All right. Oh, this is the end of the equation. So we are saying, therefore, k is plus or minus e, 5. Okay, this is where we end for this session. Please subscribe for more videos and turn on the notification button. Subscribe to Kanban Piri. JM. Okay, bye-bye.